All right, welcome to round number five. We are two and two, so hopefully we can uh, at least at least secure the three two as we often often say on stream <laughs> uh, here and there. But I've actually, uh, interestingly enough, this deck has surprised me, and I've had uh, a lot more success with it on stream the past week. I haven't mentioned this yet, but had a lot more success with it on stream the past week than I would have expected um, in the meta right now. But um, like I said, I, I've been surprised. We've we've done overall pretty well with it. Um, the last couple days have been slightly worse. Uh, well, actually a lot worse. So I guess we've been kind of uh, evening it out, but we're still much, much greater than 50% overall. Obviously 50% and a little bit above would be nothing to write home about, but uh, I think we're I'd have to double check exactly what we are, but I think we're still pretty well up there with the deck. So, bottom line is, I'm still surprised. I thought I thought it would be worse. Uh, this matchup might be a little tough. We are kind of racing here um, against our opponent being able to set up the combo. Uh, Relic can insulate me a little bit, but not much. I think I would rather dig for an amulet and set up for Azusa. If I had two untapped lands here, I could Azusa uh, before stirrings, but I do not. Um, basic forest could potentially be better, but probably not. Um, we're just going to go ahead and do this now. The biggest reason is that so I can just replay my mine and use it. Uh, and again, since I wouldn't even be able to pop the relic anyway, well, at this point, at this point, I think it's actually better to relic since I can't cast amulet this turn and don't even necessarily have anything to do with it yet. Uh, it might be better to get this relic going. Yeah, it might be better just to get the relic going here. Fortunately, my opponent uh, doesn't really have any combo uh, set up here. I mean, obviously they have the Viscera Seer, so if they can also produce Kitchen Fix, then they're a card away. There it is. But this is the combo that we can interact with. So at this point, I should really be leaving up one mana uh, at the end of my turns just to, just to play it safe. Here, I'm going to lead on Azusa, and my opponent has tapped out, so I don't have to worry about my land sequencing and my opponent being able to interact. Um, I have three land plays, but really four if I include this. So we're going to start here. Bounce this mine and go mine. Teleria West. I guess mine stirrings first. There's an amulet. I'll take it over those. Uh, I could hold this up to surprise my opponent. I wonder if there's a way I get punished for doing that. Yeah, there is. Uh, if they just say go and hold up like a cord, then I can't end up using my Sakura Tribe Scout and we just sit here staring at each other. So I think I think we want to do it this way. Uh, we're still like a little, a little ways away from tightening, and I've used all my bounce lands before I found my amulets, so... Um... We're not too terribly far away. Next turn, obviously, I can transmute. Uh, and then the following turn, we can tighten with an amulet in play. But um, we have to make sure, obviously, not to die before then. Plus, my opponent could obviously have a path at that point. Um, all right, so we're going to lead on transmute here. Could also transmute for... I have two Teleria West and a lot of land plays. So I guess... I could transmute for a bounce land, Simic Growth Chamber, and then I've used up three of my mana. At that point, I have one, two, three, and then can play the bounce land for eight mana, basically, with my four land plays, going up to 11, which would be enough, obviously, to transmute. Um, going up to 11 puts me down to eight see so, yeah, how i can even leave up the relic after all that i guess i didn't count casting the amulet 
So I think I would have exactly enough to leave up the relic off of this gemstone mine. So perfect. Okay, let's go for that. So we transmute for a bounce land here. What else could I get that I may not have think of? I like to look real quick. I guess this is why I end up low on time, but engineered explosives would be okay here. Pact gives me a little ins extra insulation, but again, I think I'm just going for proactive here. So let's grab, grab a growth chamber, play amulet off of this. Play this, untap, float, bounce, play this, untap, float, bounce. So one land play and a Sakura Tribe Scout. Tap, float, bounce. And then this will put me up to nine. Tap. Float. And I could bounce something else here if I wanted to at this point, but with the Titan happening, kind of still want to have a bounce land in my hand. So transmute. Then we get to haste the Titan off of its own trigger. Packed. Caps packed. Titan. Cast Titan. Its trigger happens. We grab Garrison and Stronghold. Untap. Untap. Haste this Titan. So maybe our opponent has path here. Should be a bummer um, since I don't have another um, uh, Teleri West. And something we could do to play around path here obviously would be to not haste, not haste this Titan. Uh, instead, just grab um, Teleri West tap land. But fortunately, that did not happen. And now I will grab Teleria West and a tap land. Um, no more land plays. I want to leave up the relic, so I'm not interested in going for something like Sun Home. Although I couldn't do it anyway, even if I was interested. But two, three. Oh, I have another bounce land, so I could bounce something else now. But we'll just we'll just go ahead and bounce this. Since I want to leave this one in my hand anyway, as I said, for the for the ability to produce a bunch of mana on demand, since I have like four land drops per turn allotted. Uh, now that I have extra mana, I could like play and pop a relic. Um, I'll just do it this way. So I'll, inefficient on my gemstone counter, um, but efficient on the rest of my mana, so that I can just be super super duper insulated from from graveyard stuff, and I don't need. Um, to draw a card off the relic now anyway, so might as well just wait. Uh, Devoted Druid combo, obviously we have no interaction for right now, but they haven't played a Devoted Druid, so if they did it at this point, it would be summoning sick, and that is not a huge concern. So we're gonna pay for our Summoner's Pact. Rather than lose the game, which is a fine line. Double Amulet, so you might get to see us go crazy now. Um, yeah, we can cast like two more Titans this turn now. Uh, I guess I need to be a little wary of my clock. Like I said, oh, actually we can't cast two more Titans because that's our last Teleria West. But we can uh, definitely double strike both of our Titans, which is nice. Summoner's Pact. Um, let's start doing this. 
float bounce play oh actually did i want to get this amulet into play yeah i definitely did that's my bad should have just done this once i wanted to leave this mana up but uh we lost out on two mana there which just doesn't really matter at this point but i guess maybe it was less clicks but <laughs> whatever i really don't need this amulet here but um it just makes it harder for us to have anything go wrong here so I have zero land plays remaining, but I have this Tribe Scout. I'm gonna pact here, grab a Titan, play a Titan. I have a mana floating. Um, off of this one, I guess we'll get Growth Chamber. Actually, it doesn't matter anymore. I guess we'll just get, geez, I just don't wanna waste time. I, I want there to be a right answer here, but it probably just doesn't matter. So I think we're just gonna grab like, Colony Garden, Radiant Fountain, because I'm not going to use the extra floating mana right now. So we'll just let all that extra float out, basically. Get our life, get our little plant. Haste this guy. Go to combat. Attack with these things. I'm just gonna not bother attacking with these. Do we have a path? Do we have a collected company? All right. See what you can find there. I have the relics, so we're insulated um, from any kind of combo shenanigans that could happen here. Um, and I'm gonna be able to double strike both of these, so I don't think that there's anything they can really find off of that outside of like Reflector Mage, which I don't uh, I don't think is in their deck um, from what we've seen. It much would, I would be very, very surprised, let us say, if they uh, if they had a mage there. Um, so Fire Spout, pretty good here. Kozlik's Return, uh, reasonable. Explosives, probably should be in. Um, Bog, probably should be in against the Eternal Witness deck. Thrag Tusk is okay. Dismembers, certainly necessary against the Creature Combo deck. Uh, so other than that, you know, our considerations include like any of our creature package. Not really considering these. These I think are a shoe in and then these are things we could consider, although I'm not necessarily very excited about. I'm going to shave on explorers as usual. I'm going to leave my relics. Pack navigation is a tough one. Um, my opponent is a combo deck. I am not going to be ringing in swan songs though, so maybe leaving Pact of Negation is good. Obviously, I can go up on just having a lot of removal instead and have that try to be my way of dealing. So I'm not sure I want to leave this in. Uh, that's something I'll have to think about here. Explorers, I'm going to be chopping on a whole bunch. Um, on top of that, Cavern is likely the land that gets cut here. All the other ones are pretty relevant. Maybe Ghost Quarter actually. I mean, they have Gavany. Uh, but that's really about it. So would I rather have additional green sources or be able to deal with the Gavany? I guess I want to be able to deal with the Gavany. So we'll chop that, but leave the rest of the lands. I could chop both, uh, going down to 26 if I decided I didn't want to cut this pact and wanted to shave on all of the explorers. So I think, um, it's possible we're supposed to like shave on amulets in this matchup, but I don't think so. It feels a lot like a race. I think shaving amulets would be a mistake. Obviously they can have ways to deal with amulet, whether it's like claims or decays or uh, Quasali pride mage or whatever, but I still think I'm supposed to try to play the long game. So we're gonna end up cutting explorers and then shaving on one of these, leaving me with all my tribe scouts and my Azusas to, to ramp me. Maybe a mistake when I bring in Fire Spout and Kozlik's Return to shave my Explorers and leave these, but I think these are gonna be dying to my opponent's removal anyway pretty quickly. Um, but my opponent doesn't have very efficient removal for these, which is nice, so. Um, if anything, they'll have like Path, maybe some Decays, but from the board. Uh, I'm going to cut the Ghost Quarter here. I think I want access to this Pact Negation considering my opponent's heavy combo element. Um, so I'm gonna shave the quarter. Could could be a mistake, but. That's how we're gonna go about it. At least for today. Uh, 
Our opponent has mulliganed, and I'm going to keep this slow, heavy removal hand. Play Colony Garden and say go. Hmm. Opponent appears to have not much else going on. Maybe they f6 through the turn by mistake. Maybe they just don't have anything. Not attack on. I guess we can send a message. We'll send a message. Get in there with their plan. Opponent plays a land here on their turn three. For a devoted druid. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot fire spout that because I have yet to have found an untapped land. So. Uh, either explosives for two. Yeah, I guess. I guess we explosives for two. Hopefully, we don't die. But we probably do. Uh, our opponent kept a uh, hand missing a bunch of lands. So, yeah, no big surprise. They have the combo here. They just need to show me that they have uh, something, and we'll move on with our lives. Just wanna just wanna see what they've got. Whether it's a Dusk Watch or Ballista or whatever. Twenty mana. Ballista for ten. Alright, you got it. All right, uh, we'll run it back the same way. Um, and yeah, that was it was unfortunate. We obviously would have fire spouted there if we had an untapped land. Uh, although I guess it would need to be untapped green. Most of our lands that are untapped are untapped green, but I also could have played a different bounce land on, on two though too. Or no, I'm getting it backwards. Red is without flying, so never mind. We played the right bounce land. We didn't need untapped green. Could be untapped anything. Just kill that devoted druid. Uh, this hand is pretty good at not dying. Um, not very good at doing things, but I think I'm going to keep it. Uh, bog on one, pretty awkward, but hopefully we can find a bounce land, basically. I am signed up for the... Uh, Hopper challenge that starts in a few minutes. Hopefully, there doesn't end up being a time conflict there. I might have gotten too ambitious on uh, being able to finish this league in time, but we will see. We will see. Uh, we'll go ahead and just play this rather than leave that up and say go to our opponent. Devoted Druid. Yep. Just gonna kill that now, um, and then copy my bog rather than their tomb. No, I could actually want double green, so I guess I'm gonna copy their tomb. Plus I have the relics, so what does it matter? I would not like to play two life. It's not gonna work out the way I want it to. Eidolon of Rhetoric. Interesting. Um, I mean, I'm going to want to deal with that, so I guess I'm going to put this Explosives on three. Maybe I just start popping Relics to try and hit lands. No. Two, three. All 
All right, land is good. Probably hit this Vesuva. Could also, that's unfortunate. All right, could also Summoner's Pact. Don't know why my test bar is still hopped up here, but could also Summoner's Pact for something, but then I couldn't cast it because of this. So yeah, I guess we're just on Bounce our Vesuva. Let's, let's actually start here. All right. Um, yeah, we're just gonna bounce, bounce our Vesuva. And then during their turn, we can kill the Eidolon. But them having it during, during their turn is fine with us. Is it because I haven't gotten this screen yet? Is that why? Okay, cool. It appears as though the popper challenge has started, but that's all right. I can let that clock tick down a little bit while we play our game three here. As I said, it seems that I got a little ambitious as far as my time is concerned. Can't pack that, unfortunately, so that's going to be resolving, but at least we have this explosives on three, so they can't grab any threes. I mean, they could, but wouldn't wouldn't work out very well. Hey, there's a three. I'm assuming they did not have any other choices. Um, it's May, right? Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. If it wasn't in May, that would be funny because I, of course, could pop it and it would get permit exiled. But let me move this on my other monitor here so I can at least see where my clock is getting drained to. Okay. Um, we're going to pop our explosives in their end step. Voter Druid resolves. I think we're willing to take two extra damage just to stop them from being able to play any additional spells during their turn. So we will. And blow this. They might explode this now. No, they do not. I guess it's good they didn't. So now I have an amulet, which means we can tighten. So we will tighten. Oh no, we can't tighten. What am I saying? I counted one more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I counted super, super poorly there. I could if uh, I could go for an Azusa, but my opponent is obviously not going to allow such things. So copy growth chamber. Untap. Load this. Bounce this. Yeah, my opponent uh, not not going to allow me to do that, so I'm not not going for that. We're just setting up for a Titan next turn. I could pop this now. I'm not going to. Yeah, we're just going to set up for a Titan next turn. Uh, the fairway. Like I said, if there was no Pride Mage, we go for. Um, we go for Summoner's Pact into Azusa, bounce the bounce line a bunch of times, and play a Titan. That certainly resolves. Opponent may just have nothing going on here. Um... Kitchen Finks resolves. Definitely not packing anything I don't need to pack. Sure. So our opponent's going to assumedly use their creature. To blow up our amulet here. Yep. No big surprise there. We're just going to do this now, so I don't forget about that. And then we grab... Um, doesn't really matter. 
matter here. I guess I want red white for future gear uh, future bounces. And I think I want some I guess calling the garden's worth more life here. Yeah, we get the Boris Garrison for future uh Slayer Stronghold Bounce replay situations. Um, although we have we're pretty light on blue. So I kinda need to pack this. Didn't summon our spec last turn. Yeah, I kinda need to pack this. My opponent has like a random fulminator that they could somehow cast. I guess they can't have fulminator and a way to cast it. But uh, if my opponent has like a mana dump and then they hit their thing off of the collected company, we could easily lose the game here. So I think we need to pack that, unfortunately. One, two, three, four, five. So we have three mana here. No amulet. Um. Let's attack. Grab these. Bounce that for the future. Oops. That's unfortunate. Man, obviously I was I was gonna play Azusa. Actually, I probably don't wanna play Azusa there, but I definitely wanna play land, obviously. Vizier. Yeah. Hopefully that's not what they needed. That's frustrating. We countered the collected company that was apparently going to hit a Vizier and then they draw a Vizier. Uh, I could have gotten an explosives at some point which maybe is what I needed to do. That last turn, I couldn't though. I didn't have the blue required and I don't have an amulet. I just need my opponent to show me what they have. Just need them to show me. have the ballista in their hand again yeah all right well that's that's game that was a good draw either way um that's kind of frustrating i think we're in a pretty good spot to win that game our opponent had both the ballista and the vizier after just having one card but um i guess that's it for round number five and i will see you in the wrap up thanks for watching see you in a minute